All right, now that we've got our copy made, uh, we can go through the rest of the project. Now, instead of a, an assessment, a test, uh, we're gonna do this project, so it does count just as much as a test. Uh, so I want you to make sure that you're putting in, at minimum, uh, I'd say 20, eh, 30 to um, 60 minutes of time on this, right? So it's like a two-day project. Um, and you can even have the weekend and, and a third day if, if you if you need it. Okay, so don't rush it. Um, take some time, ask questions. I can walk you all the way through it if, if you need be. Okay, so um, let me know if you need help. So um, you made the copy, you've renamed it. Now the next step we're gonna do is from print out page three, right? So file, um, print, Right, we can go over here, we can say we don't want all, we just want one, we want page three, uh, and actually, excuse me, I made a mistake, it's in page four. Um, so page four, it's the drawing page, right, step five. Um, so now if you can't have, don't have a printer, don't worry, not much on this page. All you have to do, grab a piece of blank paper, okay? Um, and so we're gonna read through the procedures, uh, follow each step to complete the project, and then you're gonna submit a Google document, right? The Google document that you made a copy of, you're just gonna submit that uh, with the one with all your measurements, uh, slash you renamed specific to you um, onto Google Classroom. And then you're also gonna submit your picture. Now, if you have some software that you can do an online drawing and get the measurements correct, by all means, feel free to do so. Um, the idea that we're looking at today, the guiding question, is how can we create a scale drawing of a person? I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just so we can see it. All right, so uh, the procedures are as follows. So you're going to use a ruler, a meter stick, or a measuring tape, and take the following measurements. It will be helpful to have a parent or sibling support you in taking your measurements. Um, all measurements will be done in centimeters. Again, measure in centimeters. Um, and so here are all the things that you are going to measure. Uh, your height from top of head to heel, length of foot, right, from heel to toe, length of face, from your hairline to your chin, so to the base of your hair on top of your forehead to the bottom of your chin. Um, and again, if you just have a ruler, you're gonna have to make best do with what you have. If you have a, a measuring tape, that would probably work best. However, uh, if a ruler is, that's fine. You could even have a piece of string, right? And then push, uh, measure whatever uh, distance you're doing and then put it up to a ruler of some sort um, and go from there, right? So these are all the things that you're gonna be measuring. Now number two is a very important step. Fill out the chart on the following page with these measurements, right? So I'm gonna just go down to that next page and I'm gonna actually decrease it so we can see the whole page um, as we go. Now, uh, here's where you're going to put all of your actual measurements, right? This column. Right? So actual measurements go right here. It says up top. It's even connected to step two. Right? Here's the object to measure uh, right down here. And then right here um, is going to be where you're going to actually figure out using your scale. Now, I've given you a scale. Uh, it's uh, 2 fifteenths, okay? And you'll use that as your first ratio. And then you're just gonna show me one calculation right here. Uh, so it doesn't matter which one. You can do the first one if you like. Um, and uh, using your proportion, right? So we did a lot of that work uh, when we reviewed on the knockout game. Um, but also, if you need me to jump online with you, just to give you a quick example, hit me up, I'm here for you. All right, just looking forward, getting a little bigger. All right, so we did the fill in the chart. Um, drawing, if your drawing must fit on a legal size piece of paper, right? So it has to be on the eight and a half by 14. Determine what the above lengths must be for your scale drawing, right? So you have to do that math right here. Um, so to get this number, you have to use your actual and then this right here, right? So remember it's um, scale over actual equals scale over actual. Okay. Um, next, draw your uh, scale drawing. The arms may need to be bent in order to fit the drawing on the paper. Now we're not just drawing a picture, right? Uh, if your top of your head 
to your heel says that uh, say it was five um, I don't know 300 centimeters right okay so remember scale over actual equals scale over actual when you're trying to figure these out um, so fill all those out and then um, when you go to do your drawing make sure that they match this right here so you're going to be using a ruler um, and I'm going to pick a couple like so I might pick kneel to heel right I'm not saying I am just going to pick three or four um, and I'm actually going to measure them out on your drawing okay so make sure that you spend the time um, and uh, make sure those measurements are accurate okay uh, last step is um, you must turn in your drawing and your table right so um, I guess that's why I best to put on Google Classroom um, just so you know where to go. I'm sure you did. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I will uh, answer them for you.